coach page here with master trainer for DBRT and the ultimate sandbag and this is my friend Carrie today's video is the sequence or flow uh, I put together for us at the master trainer summit over the weekend um, this is a part of Jen's program the DBRT resiliency program that she put together um, this particular um, exercises I put in here is really great for before a workout, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of hip extension. Um, it's also really excellent and you can do this on an active recovery day. So if you have a day that you don't usually work out, but you'd like to do a little bit of movement or explore some, some things in your body, this is really great. So it's a nice fusion of yoga and using the core bag as well here too. Okay, so let's get started. Our first exercise is going to be the crab stretch. Okay, so the setup for this movement is seated feet flat about hip distance apart and then Carrie's fingertips are going to point back behind her so we're externally rotating the shoulder. So as Carrie bridges up she's going to reach all the way up with her right hand and across the body so she's almost reaching a little bit to the left. So we get a nice stretch into the um, side body here, serratus, lats, and then she's really working on glute strength. So come all the way back down, reset in the middle. And again, glutes squeeze, lift the hips, extend, and reaching over the left arm towards the right side of the body. Good, and then come all the way back down. So you can do this about five times on each side. Our second exercise is the 90-90 hip extension into our half kneeling position. And today we're gonna to stand all the way up to complete this movement. So the setup is both knees at 90 degrees. She's gonna get the um, ultimate sandbag in the front loaded position. Squeeze the shoulder blades just a little bit. And we're gonna use the glutes um, to sit up onto the knees, nice. And squeeze the glutes to get into extension. So here we're gonna wrap that right leg forward. So we're gonna come into that half kneeling position. And then from here, Carrie's gonna tuck her back toe. She's gonna stand all the way up, okay? So a full extension and nice and tall. Bring that left leg back, left knee plants. Bring the right leg back right knee is going to try to meet the left foot here. So if you imagine the left foot standing on top of the right quadricep. Let's see that again. We'll do it on the other side as well. Good. So again, legs at 90-90. She can also adjust this um, angle right here in the left knee depending on um, your body. Using the glutes, hip extension forward onto the knees. Wrap the left leg forward, half kneeling. And then we're gonna go ahead and stand all the way up. Bring the right foot back, plant the right knee down. Bring the left leg, sweep it back, yeah. Left knee to meet the right foot, okay? And there's exercise number two. The third thing we're gonna do has quite a few movements. This is the plank bag drag. Also with the down dog, we've got a crescent lunge with a revolved um, lunge as well here too, okay? So the setup is gonna be in that high plank position, okay? So hands are right underneath the chest, uh, right underneath the elbow, shoulder, everything's nice and stacked, okay? She's got her feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. She's gonna reach with her left hand to grab the bag, drag it to the left, and then she's gonna go ahead and now push back into the down dog. So here's the second part to this. From the down dog, you may wanna remain here, take a couple breaths, she's gonna keep that hip, uh, excuse me, the spine nice and long, a little stretch in the hamstrings in the back, and we can also slightly bend the knees here a little bit too. If you're tight, that'll help keep the hips high, all right? So now we're gonna take the right leg and we're gonna step it all the way through towards in between the hands. She's planting the back knee, so her left knee plants and she's gonna relax the left foot in the back. And then we're gonna inhale and reach up and begin to get that torso nice and long here and tall. Again, taking a couple of breaths here is really excellent to reposition and re-sync into the pose. Getting a nice stretch into the left hip flexors. Good. And then we're gonna exhale, bring the hands back down. We're gonna lift the left knee off the mat. So full extension on this left leg, quadricep, quadricep height, excuse me. Keep the left hand planted and we're gonna open up to the right side of, of, the, of the body here, okay? So we're really just making sure we're rotating um, in the spine, opening up the rib cage, more of an extension there into that left hip. Good, Carrie. Let's place the right hand down. 
bring the right foot back into that plank. This time we're going to reach with the right hand, drag to the right, good. Down dog, second thing. Left foot comes through, plant the back knee. So there's your kind of runner's lunge, this is crescent, number three. Inhale, reach up, couple breaths. And just making sure again to relax the shoulders, rib cage over pelvis. Exhale, back down to the floor with the hands. Lift the back leg up off the mat, push into the balls of the feet. Keep the right hand planted, and we're gonna open up to the left side of the body. So if you're a little tight here, sometimes it helps if we keep the, the hand on the hip area, and then we can really work on trying to open up the shoulders here. And then she's gonna look up and then rotate, and now again, we can re-extend into this hand. So the shoulders are stacked on top of each other here. Very good. Place the hands back down to the floor, step back into the plank, and then from here, of course, you're ready to repeat several more times on each side. Very good. Exercise number four is gonna be our co cobra pull apart, also known as a Superman, for some of you who are working in the gym. So for this exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be on the bellies and the hands are gonna be down on, on the sides of the bodies. I'm gonna place the ultimate sandbag on Carrie's glutes right here on the back, and she's gonna reach for the outside handles. In this case, we're gonna make sure that we externally rotate the shoulder, the eye of the elbow pit facing out, and then also making sure the palms are facing out as well, and the thumbs are up towards the sky. On an inhale, Carrie's gonna really drive her shoulder blades back and lift the chest off the mat. She's gonna contract the thighs and the back as well here too, so lifting the kneecaps off the mat. And then on an exhale, she's gonna lower down. And she's just placing, we're just placing the forehead on the mat. And again, a nice inhale. Imagine ripping, you know, pulling the bag open, pulling it apart, really squeezing the shoulder blades. Good, and contracting the thighs, and then down. Exhale, go ahead and relax. Very nice. Again, I would do that about five to seven times. Okay? Great, our last exercise, number five, is gonna be our front loaded good morning, single leg good morning, into your figure four, also known as a pigeon pose, standing pigeon. So we're gonna place the ultimate sandbag in the front loaded position. Option to grab it by the outside handles if you have a client or somebody who has broader shoulders. That may help keep the back nice and strong. So engaging the shoulder blades. She's gonna bear all the weight into her left leg. She's gonna ground through the left foot. And we're gonna keep this leg nice and strong. So she's really contracting her thigh. We've got ankle flexion. And then this is our single leg deadlift right here, our hinge, otherwise known as warrior three. And then she's gonna come all the way forward, squeezing the left glute, and then she's gonna cross her right ankle over her left thigh, so just above the knee. Nice squat, Carrie, that looks great, guys. And then go ahead and plant that foot. So let's repeat that again. We'll look at this on the right side. So she's gonna ground into the right foot, get her glute strong, you can have a slight bend in the knee here to allow for more um, greasing of the groove into that little nook there into the hips. Nice strong back leg here. Nice carry. Exhale, come on all the way up to stand. Cross the left ankle just on top of the right thigh. And I'm gonna give her a little bit of feedback, push into my right hand just a little bit, make sure that knee doesn't go into any sort of valgus or kind of inward rotation. Thank you, Carrie. That looks great. Well. That's a really excellent sequence that, again, you can use as a preemptive towards a strength training program or just as a nice active recovery. I just want to say check out more DVRT resiliency at ultimatesandbagtraining.com, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! Done! Oh, my God. That only took us, like, fucking... Two hours or something. Hey, or at least we did it. Oh, man. Oh, it's still going. Oh, okay.